In the previous video, we created a resource system. In this video, we'll create a building system. So the first thing we need is some UI. So I'm actually just going to create a public UI and then button text mesh pro. I'm just going to call this building one button like that. I'm going to make it take up the entire bottom of the screen. For some reason, it's not doing that. I'm actually going to create another empty and call this building panel like that. And then I'll actually make it take up how much space I want to, and then I can add in the horizontal layout group component, make it control the child width, drag that into there. I'll probably also make it control the child height. I'll increase the scale on the text like this, make it darker, and not make it use the UI sprite. I'll probably also decrease the scale of the building panel like that, and I'll probably make the text auto size and just set the max scale to like 999. That I'll probably also, I'll probably just set it to like 100 or something. Just something that is still readable okay so right now it looks huge and that's because our ground is white so i'm just going to create a new materials folder materials and i accidentally capitalized the a i'm just going to call it ground like this i'm just going to set it to black and make it have no smoothness and then on our plane i can just drag that onto there and then we can actually see that the button is indeed there okay so i'm just going to make the text just say something like building one and we'll actually make these buildings be like 3d models and things later down the line but for now this is what we have so i'm actually going to create a new building prefab because i didn't create one off camera which is a little weird for me but i'm just going to create a new cube and this is actually going to be our building graphic gfx and we'll actually have a separate building pivot that this thing uses instead of the standard cube pivot which is in the center so i'm just using the rect transform tools to get this thing to the scale i need it to and then i accidentally misplaced it like that so i'm just going to do like 10 by 10 but like 10 or something just like a really big cube or maybe like five yeah sure so it's like this tall building and we can see that the camera parent is actually kind of low. So in our camera movement script, we could simply set the new pause, new pause dot y is equal to transform dot position dot y, like that. And then that allows us to drag it up to wherever we want it to because the building right now is huge. So I'm just going to drag that up and like 27 is pretty decent. And I'm probably also going to offset the main camera just a tad bit more. Okay, so we have this massive building. Now, I'm probably also going to reduce the skill by like half, 25 divided by 2. You can enter math directly inside the Unity editor. I don't think not that many people know that. And then probably just offset that just a tad bit. Okay, now we also have to create a building pivot. Building pivot like that. And we'll actually turn this into a prefab after we parent the graphics to it. And this is actually going to be our base building. So I'm just going to create a new folder and call it buildings. And then we will have one for building goes like this. And then one for the actual building like that. So right now we don't want this to do anything. We just want to be ploppable. And then we're going to actually create another version of this prefab just by pressing control D and calling it building one ghost and dragging it into the ghosts folder and i where did i drag it to oh i dragged it into the i dragged it into the assets folder not the buildings folder okay now 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 we have our building ghost we're actually going to assign a different material to this i'm just going to call it something like ghost material if i can spell material correctly like this I'm actually going to set rendering mode to transparent and give it a bluish tint and make the transparency 128. And then our building ghost, we could simply assign that material to that. Okay, and then we want our building one to pop this building ghost because the building ghost will have slightly different behavior than the building itself. So we want to add a script to our building one ghost. I'm just going to type in building ghost. It'll be a real simple script for now. And I didn't follow standard programming conventions. So I'm actually just going to rename the script here. And then open it up in Visual Studio. And then rename this class so it actually matches. Like that. And then we want to pretty much get in on click and but first we actually have to create a game object to the building we want it. So building to place and this is just going to be the building we replace the ghost with like that so we probably also want to have a public int 
cost as well. This will just subtract money from the resources. And in our button, we'll actually have different behavior to check if we have enough resources to build the building because we don't want to have negative money. But for now, we're just going to leave this cost empty. And then in our update function, we want to say, we want to get the input. So if input dot get mouse button down, I'm just going to pass in zero. This is the left mouse button, but you could pass in one for the right mouse button if you want to. And we're just going to simply destroy watch. We want to instantiate the building to place first, building to place at transform.position at transform.rotation like that. And then we want to also subtract the cost, but we're not going to do that right now. So I'm just going to do say to do subtract cost. And then we want to destroy this dot game object. And then we want to return like that. And then we actually have to create the logic for our button as well so but first i'm going to organize our project just a tad bit by dragging the building into the scripts folder right now our project isn't exactly that clean but we will organize it just a little bit later in a few videos so i'm going to create another script and call it building manager building manager i'm recording all these videos back to back so building manager is now open and we want to make it a public game object and then we want to say c let building like that and then we want to just say building to build public game we can actually make it private game object building to build well no i'm actually not going to use the building manager way I'm actually going to make each button do their own thing. And whenever we click the button, it chooses the building to select automatically. So we can simply create a new C sharp script and call it building button like that. And then we can just simply press enter. And I accidentally closed out Visual Studio. Okay, so we want to create a new public void and let's just call it a select building like this. And we want to make it pass in a game object and just call it building like this. And then we want to instantiate that building which is actually going to be a blueprint so we'll follow our cursor we want to just say building and then hmm, let's just do new vector three zero 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 and then we want to just say quaternion not quality level but quaternion dot identity that will reset its rotation to zero and then we actually want to go to our blueprint class where we'll make it stick to the cursor that probably isn't actually the best way to describe it but our building ghost here we want to say we want to use using the rts.utils this will allow us to get the world position like that and we'll actually create a private reference to the camera this will just make it just slightly more performant private camera main cam like that and then in our wake function we can just say main him is equal to camera dot main. This is only getting called once, so it's just a lot more performant than calling it every single frame. But we can just say transform dot position is equal to the utils dot, and then it's our hit point hit point, and then we want to just pass in the main cam like that and then that should actually work once we assign that script to the building and it's already been assigned right now we don't have a building to place so i can just fix that real quickly by doing building one pivot like that and then getting the game logic set up correctly so in your building panel building one button we want to assign the building button to it and then in our button we want to create a reference to it so just drag that into there building button select building and then we want to just drag our building when ghost into it and then we want to run it and we should see it actually working and as we can see it's colliding with itself that's why it's important to make a layer mask but besides that it's actually working and we can click and it is creating the building so Real quickly, I'm just going to create a layer mask so it doesn't collide with itself. So I'm going to actually create a separate version of this script that takes in a layer mask instead, or function, not script, layer mask, mask, like that. And then in our raycast hit, we just do a mask as well, like that. And we're actually going to create a public, public layer mask buildable mask. This will only have the ground be buildable and then we want to just do utils.hitpoint and then we want to say the buildable mask. So that should actually work since we created this modular code. We just have to make the ground be a buildable object. So once Unity compiles the code, I'm going to go into the plane and add in a new layer mask and just call it buildable like that and then make the plane be buildable and then in our building ghost, I'm just going to 
make buildable. And then we can press play and then we should see that it doesn't have any weird behavior. Like that we can pop it on the ground and we can build it. So congratulations, you've created a building system. This is pretty much the fundamentals of any RTS game, but the series isn't over yet. We will be creating the ability for buildings to produce resources and a population system as well. So this is all in the RTS series for now. If you want more like this, then be sure to subscribe and smash that bell. It always helps out the content and helps get videos like this recommended to others. Fun Uber, out.